Hi everyone, Juliet here. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute little stud earrings. This is the back. And um, the thing I really like about these is there's no glue. Uh, I, I didn't want to use glue because I don't trust glue. So whenever I can, I always bead over everything. So um, there's no glue on these, but they are very sturdy. It took me uh, a couple days to come up with this pattern to where I was happy with the sturdiness. So um, I would not, they're very small. I wouldn't advise this for a beginner beater because it's quite fiddly. Um, and also it could be a little bit confusing. So I would say an intermediate to advanced beater. But these are great. You could use them at the top of an earring or you can just use them by themselves. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the materials you're going to need, you're going to need some flat back um, stud earring findings. Uh, mine are sterling silver and with a six millimeter base. So um, you'll need that, and two of those obviously if you're doing a pair. Uh, you'll need some 11 O's in two colors, so color A, color B, and it doesn't matter what brand you use. These for example are Toho and these are Miyuki, you can mix and match in the project. Um, and then you'll need some 15 O's. The 15 O's aren't really seen, um, they are on the back, but um, they're not showing on the front. So um, I like to choose something that coordinates with my main color um, if I can, but if not, just whatever is fine. Uh, obviously you'll need a beading needle and you will need some thread. Um, I'm using Fireline in smoke in six pound weight. Um, so just get your needle threaded with about uh, two feet, which is 24 inches or around about 50 centimeters if you're metric. Um, and let's get this party started. As soon as I get my needle threaded, we'll be on a roll. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So these are quite fiddly. Um, so I don't really... If you're not a patient beater, this might not be the project for you. All right, so we're gonna pick up three, three of our color A, one of our color B. Three of our color A, one of our color B, three of our color A, and one color B. So we have a total of 12, um, beads on our needle, three sets of our pattern, okay? So push that down and just leave enough of a tail that you can sew it in sort of three or four inches should be sufficient for this. Then we're going to make a, we're going to form a ring. So we're going to sew through all of the beads again all 12. And then we're going to sew through the first two. So we are coming out from the second bead of this group of three. We're coming out the middle one here, okay? Um, now we need to fill in this hole here so that our earring finding doesn't wobble around and be unsteady. Believe it or not, even though this looks like a really simple pattern, it took me two days to 
get it so that I was happy with the stability of it. Um, and so we're going to pick up three 15 O's. So we're coming out the middle here, the second bead. I'm going to go into the middle bead here in the same direction that my thread's going. So if I'm working in a, this direction, I'm going to enter it from this side, okay? And when you pull, the beads, the 15 O's should go inside the circle. Then you're going to enter the very first 15 O next to that bead. You're going to pick up two 15 O's and you're going to enter the middle again. If we're working this direction, we're going to enter this side of the bead. So continue around the circle. Hang on. Make sure that your thread, if you're working on the top, stays on the top, otherwise it'll get looped around your work. Like mine is trying to get looped around right now and I don't want that. There we go. Okay. So then I'm going to enter the very first of those 15 O's that's next to the bead I'm exiting. Hold my thread. So what we're doing is we're kind of centering this triangle around those beads. And then on this one, I'm only going to pick up one 15 O and I'm going to enter. So this would be the next group of three, but I'm going to enter this 15 O that's right here that we've already added. Okay. And then I need to enter the middle seed bead. And again, I'm working this direction, so I'm going to keep going in this direction. That's how you know which side, because it looks like you should go in this side, but you shouldn't. You should keep going in the same direction. So just um, enter that one. You can enter the bead after it if you want as well. So then we have this a little triangle inside the circle. So yeah, enter the next beads until you're coming out from the second, the first of the next group of three. So you go through your gold and through your gray. So you're coming out there. And you're gonna pick up three of your color A's. And you're going to enter, you're going to skip one bead, and then you're going to go through the next three beads. So you're going to go through the gray, the silver, and the gray, or whatever colors you're using. So we're just making a little bridge there. And then you're going to, let me just turn my work slightly, okay. You're going to again pick up three, skip this guy, go through the next three beads. Okay. And one more time. Just turning my work. This is very small. So um, it, t it takes patience, which is why I don't really recommend it for beginners. Okay, so now you're going to go through just that bead and the silver, and then don't go through um, the next bead. Okay, so you should now have something that looks a bit like this. Okay, so I'm coming out from the silver. I'm going to pick up five of my silver 11 O's, which um, got five, and then I'm going to enter the next silver bead. Still working in that same direction, whichever direction you're working in, and you want it to go 
on the top. So when you pull it, just make sure that it sits on top of that other bit there. Again, we're going to pick up five of our silver beads. And pop into the next silver bead and keep that on the top. Make sure it sits on top. There we go. One more time. Five silver beads. And into the last silver bead on the base here. So I'm just going through that silver bead and pull. Okay, now this is the, the fun part, as I like to call it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pause you one second because I think that the battery is about to run out and I don't want that to happen. So just give me one second. Okay, disaster averted. Um, all right, so I'm coming out from the silver bead. Um, so we're going to carry on. You might want to turn your work over to the back side for this bit. And what you're going to do is, just one minute, let me see what we're going to do. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to move forward through two, the next two gray beads, sorry, the next three gray beads. Which I cannot do in one go, so I will move two and one. So I'm coming out just before the silver bead. Okay, now I'm going to pick up seven of my color A. So three, seven. Okay, and so making sure that my thread is on the outside here, what we're going to do is we want to follow this line of silver, but the inside of this line of silver. So what we are going to want to do is go into, if you look on the back here, this gray bead right here. So not the silver one, but the gray bead right after it. But we're going to want to enter the inside of the... So we're coming from the outside to the inside. So we have to find that gray bead which I am having a little bit of trouble doing it's not normally this tricky There we go. Okay. So I have found my gray bead. If you turn over, you'll see I'm going through that bead there after my gold bead. But I'm going from the outside to the inside. When I pull it, it's going to sit in there. It looks a little messy now. It'll look fine when we're done. Okay, so if you turn your work over to the back and just move forward until you get uh, just before the silver bead. So just move forward the next two gray beads there. Okay. We're going to do the same thing here. 
So we're going to look and see where is our silver bead. So it's here. So I'm going to want to go into this bead here. That's, that would be after it. So I'm going to again pick up seven beads. So seven, and I'm looking, and I'm going underneath everything, and trying to find that bead that I want to enter into. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually push my beads down, and then, so I've gone through Basically, I've come out the hole underneath the silver just to make it a little easier on myself, and then I can pull tight once I'm there. Okay. And now we have one more to do. So turn your work over to the back and move forward two beads, two gray beads. Okay. So again, coming out of this silver, we're going to want to go into the, the gray after this silver. So this gray right here is what we're aiming for. So pick up your seven beads. Okay, got your seven beads. Push them down. And what I did just to make it easier on myself was I pushed my needle through this gap here. Can you see where I'm going? Um, just to get the beads out of the way and then I can actually kind of turn my work over and go into that gray bead that I want to enter. Okay. So when you pull, you should have a little beaded looking knot, okay? All right, so let's put the back on and then we will be done. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tie off my tail because it's getting in the way now. So I've got an extra needle here. I'm just going to thread my tail. Okay. And I'm coming out, because we picked up, if you remember, three and then one. So I'm coming out of this, these gray beads right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the gold bead, the next gray bead. And then I'm going to go up these, uh, I'm just going to go up the very first one on this little uh, bridge we've made here. And I'm going to tie a knot. So to do that, I pass my needle under, but instead of pulling all the way through, I go through this loop that's formed. And then when I pull, that makes a little half hitch knot, and it should just sit down right in between those beads. And then I'm going to go through the next two beads. And I'm going to do one more knot right there. And then I'm going to go through the next three beads. So the gold, sorry, the gray, the gold, or the silver, it looks gold to me. Uh, galvanized silver it always looks gold okay 
So I'm going through the next gray bead, the next silver bead, if I can get into it, which I can't. Come on. There we go. And the next gray bead. And then I'm just going to go up. The next two on the next little arm. I've managed to get myself looped here. I'm gonna use my other needle. Hang on. This is so fiddly. Okay. There we go. All right. So I'm just coming out from the next like loop of three there, and I'm just gonna cut my thread right there because I am so over that. Okay. Come on, there we go. All right, that's out of the way now, so that'll make it easier for us. All right, so where are we coming out? Okay, so I am coming out from this gray bead right here after the silver bead. So I am going to move forward until I get to a silver bead. So remember when you're on the back of your work, you're working the opposite direction. So if, when you're working on the front, if you're working this direction, you turn it over, you're working in this direction and the same if you're on the front working this direction, you turn over, you're working this direction. Okay, so we're working on the back right now. Okay, so get so that you are coming out from a silver bead. Or whatever color you're using. Okay, now we're going to pick up six of our 15 O's. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, push them down and go into the next silver bead. Okay, and it should just make a little bridge across like that. Pick up six again. Um, sorry, that's a lie. Don't pick up six. So you're coming out your silver bead. Go into the very first 15 o that you just added and pull that. So this is similar to the inside. Okay, you're going to pick up five of your 15 O's. So only five this time. And you're going to go into your silver bead. Then again, you're going to go back up through the last 15 O you just added. And then you're going to pick up four of your 15 O's. You're going to enter the very first 15 O heading towards your silver bead. And you're going to enter your silver bead. Oops. Throwing my work on the ground. Okay. Now, before we tighten up too much, we're going to want 
to get our stud positioned onto our thing and then pull and tighten that a little bit. Well, it'll still be a little wobbly at this point, but we'll sort that out now. Okay, so you have this. So it should be in there and it should be held in to this triangle, okay? So you're going to head up the first uh, four beads of your of the next 50 nose that were added. So if you're working and just keep working in the same direction you're going. Okay, so going through four. Now I'm going to skip one, two, three at the corner and I'm going to go through the next two on the next grouping. And pull. And again, I'm going to skip one, two, and three. And I'm going to go into the next two. Okay. And one more time, skipping one, two, and three, going into the next two. Okay, so it should now um, be pulling in more around the base of the earring. Okay, hopefully this is showing up all right for you. Okay, so now you're going to head down the last two on that row back down towards your work main earring and you're going to go into the silver bead and now you're going to work um, through the next two on the main ring the two gray beads so there's three gray beads this this might be tricky now here as well so there's one so you're coming out this middle one that's underneath this bit right here okay so I'm coming out from the second one of those three I'm going to pick up two Fifteen O's, and then I'm going to enter the one right before the corner fifteen O here, and the corner fifteen O. I'm going to go through the silver bead. And then I'm going to go through the corner 15 0 and the next 15 0, still heading in the same direction you're working. I'm again going to pick up two, sorry, my other needle got stuck in my ring, <laughs> uh, two 15 0s again. And you're going to find that middle. Of that group of three, one, two, three um, gray beads, you're going into the middle one. So you might have to dig for it a little bit, but it's there. <laughs> and again, I'm still working in the same direction the entire time. I'm working in one direction. And I'm going to go up only the first 15 0 right there that I just added. So I, we added two, but I'm only going up one of them. And pull. And you might need to sort of squish those beads down with your finger. Then I'm going to pick up one 15 0. And I'm going into the last two on the next point there. So the second to last one and the last one. 
heading towards the next um, silver bead. So we're making a star shape here. You're going to go through your silver bead. Then you're going to go up the point and then the next 15 0 still heading in that direction. I'm going to pick up two 15 0s. You're going to head into the middle gray bead of the group of three on the base ring which again might be hidden a little bit. You might have to kind of dig around for it. Go back up through that first 15 of the, of the group of two you just added. And we only need to pick up one this time. And we go into the next two 15 O's at the next point. We're almost back to the start now. Go through the silver bead. And you're going to head back up through those two first beads there. And this is where we started this um, star shape, so we need to add one more bead. So pick up one 15 0 and just head down the last, um, like the furthest away of those two 15 0s right there. Pull and head into that gray bead that's underneath. I can get to him. He wants to hide. So yeah, you can see how fiddly this is, but it is so it's such a small little earring that <laughs> that's why there's just not a lot of room here. And once you go through that bead, you can continue on if you want, if it's easier and go around. But we're just going to tie off our thread. So give it a nice tug and you should have a really um, nice looking little star shape. Um, hopefully you can see it looks like a little star, a six pointed star. Okay. So like we did before, just tie off your thread somewhere um, I like to go into these groupings of three around the outside um, because they're easiest. So I just go up one, tie a knot, go through a couple more. Tie a knot. And just get your thread, if you can, into your work. That should be good, and then you can cut it off. And there you have it. That is our little um, knotted earring. And you could um, you could use this at the top of something if you wanted to. Um, yeah. And those are the two of them so you can see how small they are um, if I can find my tape measure yeah. here we go so if that's an inch they're like half an inch
just over a centimeter. So, okay. Um, anyway, they're they're really cute. I love them, and I did one. Um, I thought they would be cute, like nautical sailor type um, colors. So I did one in like a this one in a cobalt blue and pearl, uh, which is cute as well. Um, and this one, I actually, the blue are the Tohos and the whites are Miyuki's. So I kind of did the opposite sizes. So it doesn't make that much of a difference, really. This one's a little bit bigger because Tohos are a little bit bigger, but um, it doesn't make a difference to the actual pattern. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at these earrings, I've actually done opposites. So the way you do that is you work one direction for one earring and the other direction for the top of the other earring. So if you look here, see how this like this is coming out from underneath here, but it's going over this way, over this way, over this way, and here it's going over this way, this way, and this way. So these are our opposites. Um, but you don't, nobody's going to notice that, so don't worry about it if that's like too much for you to handle. Um, but anyway, I hope you've liked this project. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can be notified when you, when I post more projects. Um, I've got another stud earring I'm going to be showing you in the next few days. Um, so I would love to see you also over on Facebook or Instagram. Just look up Jules and Rose. That's me. Um, show me your work. If you make these, I'd love to see them. Show, send me a picture and I'll um, show people on my social media what you've made. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!